Hello people of the internet, I'm uploading this video on both of my channels, so whichever channel you're watching this video on, hi. You probably searched for this video because you saw a picture annotation or a video annotation in someone's video. And you're probably wondering, how the heck do I do that? It's actually a really simple process. But first things first, as far as I know, your channel has to be in good standings. You can check in your settings to see your account status and make sure you're in good standings. If you're not in good standings, I don't know if they just won't let you use the picture or video annotations or not, but I don't really know that. So anyway, back to the picture annotation thing. First things first, you're going to go to your account settings. And when you're in your account settings, you're going to go down to channel settings and click on in video programming. And once you get into in-video programming, you have two options. You can either feature your channel or feature a video. If you'll go to feature your channel is where it displays the picture. And the default picture is the icon that is displayed on your channel. And you can choose a custom avatar if you don't like using that picture. You can choose the position of it in one of the corners. And you can change the display time for how long you want it to appear in your videos. Now, if you go to feature video, it's the same process. You can pick one of your videos to be displayed at some point in your video, and you can choose the position, and you can choose how long it's on there. And all you have to do is click Save, and then from there on, all of your videos will have the picture annotation or the video annotation. You can't do both, but if you don't want the picture or the video annotation in all of your videos, you're kind of screwed. It's going to be in all of your videos, but the only way to get rid of that is just turn your annotations off it's not that hard, but you can't, or it'll automatically be placed in all of your videos. I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and thank you for watching.